Lindy looks just so thrilled about doing this again. I thought you just did it. We did just do it. Isn't it fun? No. We're Kaylee and Lindy. Each week, we take you behind the scenes of our two-acre permaculture homestead to show you what it's really like to grow your own food and develop a sustainable homestead property. Let's go. I believe morning friends. Uh, happy New Year. It's New Year's Day. I don't know when you'll be watching this, but it's New Year's Day here. So happy New Year's. Um, we're just waiting for the princess over here to finish her coffee. So, That's me. I'm the princess. Mm -hmm, so that we can go do chores. Mm -hmm. We don't really set resolutions. Our New Year kind of resets anyways. We kind of more celebrate like the pagan calendar. So our New Year resets in the fall. Which is October. Yeah, so it resets after, basically after sewing, which is Halloween. So that's kind of when we make our changes. And I feel like that's a better time anyways, because we're kind of finishing the growing season and moving into that season of like calm and reflection and being inside. So we're already kind of in that stage and we've already kind of done those things. Is winter calm when you have livestock? <laughs> Winter's not as calm. When you have livestock. The snow has not stopped. It's still frozen. Our neighbor... It's not going away. ...just came over and was like, so can wells freeze? And we're like... Yep. Yep, yep that's a thing. Um, but it's supposed to warm up a little bit today. But yeah, we're going to get to doing some chores, make some breakfast, and then we have a bunch of house projects. Our house just decided to break this week. <laughs> like, it was like one thing Guys. after another after another and it was so overwhelming and I think that's why we didn't do a lot of vlogging throughout the week was just because a it's the week between Christmas and New Year's like you're barely alive that week 
And then I wanted to be a couch. Yes. And then things just kept breaking and I was like (sighs) super disheartened about it and kind of in a bad place. I was like, nope, it's okay. It's okay. So we're just gonna, we're gonna fix it like we always do. In addition to building the homestead, we are also renovating our home. So we're renovating the house as well. It's in 1951. 52. No. 54? 50, 51 because our last house was of 52. And this was one year older. Oh, man. Anyways, so we did this at our last property as well. And we absolutely loved it. And we love old houses and we love pouring into them. Like, I don't know what we would do if we bought a house that was already fully restored and renovated or a new house i think we would lose our minds to be honest i would sleep (laughs) you say that now you would just (laughs) this is the one that rips down the walls just (laughs) randomly she's like i'm just gonna rip this down i have two days off work (laughs) yeah yeah last christmas that's what happened to the dining room wall she had two days off work and just ripped down a whole wall hey that was a very it was four days off Okay, right. and I redid electrical. I hung up all of our new lights. I broke down an entire wall. It's gone. Mm-hmm. It's not there. I it's true. opened up an entire wall and dropped new electrical down, and I laid tile. Which is very nice. However, she didn't clarify that all of that did not happen in four days. It happened over four months. The destruction happened within the four-day period. It sounded better if I had gotten that done in four <laughs> days, though. Why did you have to take that from me? I'm just saying. Anywho, these projects really are kind of primarily done during the off season so we do them a lot in the winter <clears throat> okay but hold on having moved to this state whom i love and i'm i'm probably never going oh. to not live here very bold statement um there is no off season there is no off season here no there isn't as long of off season here we're used to like a really hard off season like in idaho you're like we're just done you're like, done of switch flips and you're done and it's like a solid like three to four months of the ground is kind of frozen you don't do much but that's not the case here so we still do a lot of groundwork and things like that through the winter meaning as we don't well. stop yeah so there's no guitar learning here there's no knitting learning here <laughs> no which are like the hobby time right like in the winter we used to do the hobby time we would sit around the stove we would read we you know we'd learn how to knit play guitar things like that with the winter time though when we're slower and we don't have as much to do outside we still try to capitalize and do more of our indoor projects so today we're going to we've got our laundry list we should probably talk about how we always identify the what we would like to get accomplished for the year at what was it yesterday we had that call and you were like i'm thinking of the garden and i'm like but the bathroom and the laundry room and this happens every year. I always go straight to finishing the home. Um, I really enjoy those projects. And Kaylee's brain automatically goes outside. outside. Yeah, I think it's so funny. But before we can get to those indoor projects that you love, we have to go outside and do the chores and the outdoor stuff. Because it doesn't stop. Ever. It's true. I said all the dogs. I brought you your coffee. It's time. Are you, are dun, you dun, saying dun. I'm lazy right now? Not lazy, just your spirit resides more in the bed than other places. Mostly when it's I would pulled out. Yes, this is correct. That our spirit resides with the horses. I don't feel well. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. sorry. Oh. Pumpkin? I really don't feel good. That's fine. I'll go do the chores. No, no, I'll come with you. I want to see the boys. And I need to take Briar's boots off. Okay. Well, Switch you can them. just focus on that and I'll do everything else. All right. Okay. Tough enough, Buttercup. I don't want to. Let's get going. Mm. Let's go. Mm. It's cold. Like, really cold. Even all of our outdoor faucets are frozen this morning. We have one on the house that usually stays pretty good. Um, because it's on the house and we wrap it and it's covered but even that one's frozen so it's another day of filling buckets of water inside which makes a nice big mess we're lucky that the horses and the goats have heated waters but you still have to fill them so we're still trucking water from inside so I'm gonna go help Lindy with that we're gonna fill up some buckets this is what it is. Grateful that we have water at least. Did you see my ice bowl? Babe, I got you a new bowl. 
Did you see my bowl? Here you go. And our ice bowl. Isn't that so fancy? Fancy is it? Who does not need an ice bowl specially crafted for you? It's cold. By Father Winter. Remind me to burn the bathtub once we're done. chores and so we're back inside I'm gonna make some breakfast um our neighbor friends are going to come over because their well is frozen so they're gonna come over and have some breakfast use our shower all of that good stuff and then we're gonna start in on the house stuff this afternoon that's the plan we're gonna make it happen stopped working again and we've gone through the whole process of basically getting it restarted there was no power to it now we have power to it but it hasn't been dropping pellets and of course it's been super cold so we've been just using the little wall heater but we're gonna clean it out and see if we can get it working otherwise there's a technician but that can come out but not until the 11th and Lindy looks just so thrilled about doing this again we just did it. We did just do it. Isn't it fun? No. It's not. Uh, anywho, so first activity of the day. Hopefully getting the stove working again. <sighs> We think we found part of the issue, um, which is that somehow we think the pellets got stopped up and blocked up basically because all the ones came towards the bottom of the hopper. Like a lot of them are charred. You can see there's like full on black ones, which would make sense why then it would overheat and shut everything down. So hopefully, we got it unplugged, it'll start working. what it is. We have a seized auger. The we, grease uh, solidified or got hardened from the heat. So basically at some point it got clogged. It overheated which made sense why all the snap discs like basically turned it off. But now the auger is basically a rock. It's one solid piece at this point. 
So we need to order a new auger. Maybe we can just order it online and replace it ourselves because clearly we've done all the work now instead of having to pay for another new auger and a technician. The stove situation is super frustrating. But we figured it out. But we figured it out. So we were able to just order the new auger. It should be here in, at, well, who knows with the storm. We're not getting any mail or deliveries right now. So hopefully though, once the snow melts, we'll start getting deliveries again and it'll be here in what, like four to five days. Yeah. And we know how to do it ourselves. So that's, that's a big plus. I'm really proud that we figured it out, mostly Lindy. Um, but there was teamwork. Oh, for sure. We both know a lot about this stove now, so we're gonna just replace it ourselves. Yep. Cancel the service call once we make sure everything's working. And and now we know exactly how the stove works. So, oh. uh, and we've already wasted far too much time on this. It's been several hours. So we're gonna go to the store and get some stuff from the hardware store for a couple of our other projects because it, it's late, It's it is what it is zero stars on that yeah like what a pain on a freaking wood stove you know how yeah. you do wood stove you chop the wood you burn it so our idea is actually so we have a chimney here this is the original chimney um and it has so it actually goes downstairs so we can plug into it both downstairs and up here there are plates just covering the openings right now However, it's very old and it needs to be inspected. We need to make sure there's, a, you know, a metal tube in it, everything like that. So actually what we want to do is have that inspected and put a wood stove here, a smaller one, like actually cooking one, um, so that we have that, not only for cooking, because I love to cook on wood stoves, but we have it basically as like a backup unit. Because the pellet stove is great, it's very efficient, and when it works, it's very nice and very convenient. But to have a wood stove as just like, are you done? Mm -hmm. But to have a wood stove as like a backup and a safety, you have to come over here if you want people to see you nodding. Lindy's agreeing. There we go. <laughs> I'm glad I Thank you. Thank you for being a part of this. I'm so glad you're involved. Anyways, so we would really love to have that just for security reasons and just, you know, so we're not having to fuss with this. And like right now we're having to use an electric heater to heat the house, which is so expensive and so inefficient. So having I've decided, I've decided, me. Okay, what well, have you decided? A pellet stove is merely for aesthetics, meaning you turn it on when it's Christmas and that's about it. It's an ornament I, yeah. to actually heat the house because apparently when you heat it things break i'm sure people <laughs> use pellet stoves on a daily basis but i don't feel like it's reliable enough to use as your primary heat source which is what we rely on it for and what we've always relied on our wood stoves for at our previous homes so i feel like a pellet stove is not an efficient way to have a primary heat source, if that makes sense. I feel like if you have a pellet stove, you need to at least have a backup wood stove because A, you can't run it when there's no electricity. So if your power goes out, if there's an ice storm or something like that, we're screwed anyways. And it's just, it's convenient. And yes, they're efficient, but if they're not working, <laughs> like in, it's mechanics, right? Like there's always something breaking. It's like having a tractor. This is why we chose the horses over a tractor. It's like this exact reason. So, I'm over it. Yeah, me too. But it's okay. Not all is lost. So, we're going to get some other projects done. Guys, let's go outside and go potty. Come on. And we're going to go outside and go potty, I guess. I'm hoping she means the dogs. We'll find out, though. I just keep on waiting for nothing. Yeah, I keep on waiting. I just keep on